What in the... What did I do? One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. Oops, I did it again. I bought some si- Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to sing, sorry. I was gonna do a Britney Spears cover. But anyways, guys, I got some silver. And boy, is this a big one. The box is not even fit in the frame. So let me cut this. I'm thinking it may be a box within a box. Don't cut towards you, ass! Oh, I sliced my finger off. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. And I bought trash bags. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Uh, okay. Okay, here, here we go. Okay. I need to move some of these on the ground. And I'm gonna to to show you the limited edition trash bag. Well, that's nice. I got trash bags with it too. So there's a savings. <laughs> a few, few cents. Oh, mama. Doesn't this look like something illegal, guys? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes the way some of these things are wrapped, you're like, what the heck? Wow. I wasn't expecting it like... Okay. Oh, yeah. This is a big order, guys. A ton of silver. So, uh, let's just get into this. Let me show you guys the treasure I have. Cut that open, bam. This guy did a great job wrapping it. Okay, this should show you how many coins this is. These are all individual coins. Big coins. As a matter of fact, could they be dollar coins? All right. I have to speed this part up. Woo! a poll what do you guys think this is because i'm going to premiere it so i'm premiering this video right now you're watching tell me in chat what kind of coins you think these are all right let's see who got it oh man i love the heavy duty plastic bags some coin companies use for bags and this is not it is a reseller but it's a private buy so this is bought off a private platform for a fantastic price. So first, let's put these to the side because that was actually something a little bit unique and it might be controversial. So let's see who got it. Canadian silver dollars. So there's a canoe. Let's see which style we got in here. Canoe. Man, they're all in individual wrappers. Are you kidding me? No. How many of you guys think I got? That's the awkward thing. I'm going to have to take every single one out to count these, but it's quick. All right. I only paid $11.50 per coin. And for instance, spot at the time, and I think now it's like $10.80. So I paid $1.20 over spot. Oh, look at that. For Canadian silver dollars, which is a great deal. Before spot had gone buck wild, um, I would buy these at $10. So I'm a little bit above that, but $11.50. And I got a ton of them. I believe I bought 80 something. Oh yeah, those, It are these proofs or something? Are those goose proofs? We're gonna take a closer look at the next one I pull out. Okay, one of those. So I think now in my stack, I must have 300 Canadian silver dollars altogether. What I've bought, you know, anytime I can get a large buy and get a good price, I 
will usually go for it. And the gooses are my favorite, but they seem to be more rare or harder to get. Um, or maybe it's just the way it's worked out for me. I don't know. I don't know. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is I bought something controversial that I think was a really good deal, but some of you may not be happy about. So I'm going to show that to you next here in one second. The controversy coins. Okay, okay, cool. Some different ones, getting some different ones. Yeah, look how many canoes compared. I don't even know that was a canoe. I just had a feeling. I'm just going to default and put them in the canoe pile, I guess. I don't know. How many of you have Canadian silver dollars? And what price would you buy them at? I felt like 1150 was honestly a steal, which is why I went so... I guess you could say balls to the wall. Man, look at these. These are like almost in BU condition. I just almost did a face reveal. Wow. Canoe, canoe. Man, the question is, am I gonna put them all in their individual wrappers again? I don't know, guys. Might be a bit insane. But they're all so nice. So much luster. <laughs> like those goose dollars for sure I'm putting back in. Those things are like... And see, usually my Canadian silver dollars I just have in giant bags like the rest of my junk silver. And I forget the percentage on these. I want to say they're like 80%. Could be wrong. I think they're 80. Wow. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost to the end, and then I'll show you the controversy. Woo! I might mega off some of these. I may just mega off some of these. So mega. So, so mega. Man, those gooses. Those things are on fire. Imagine back in the day, just like spending all these and having a pocket full. I mean, I know some of you can. I think I remember vaguely when I was a kid spending some silver dollars. I don't know though, maybe I didn't. I don't quite recall. I know I had some, but I'm not quite sure what they were or what happened to them. I think if I have kids and leave my silver to them, I'm gonna make it so they can't sell them until they're older. Imagine if you're a teenager and you got all this and you just blew it. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, here comes the controversy coins. Don't judge me. But let me show you one thing first before we get into this. All right, this video is about to premiere. You guys, the premieres are fun. Make sure you come check them out. Shout out to Silver Bull 30 and Little Bits of Freedom for being in here so early. But some of you, I think, know what I'm about to do. And thank you so much for putting up with it because this helps to take me on trips around the world and make epic content for you because we all knew those, we all knew the market had to correct at some point, right? But no one could have imagined what we are seeing today, how a pandemic triggered an economic crisis. How will the markets respond? No one knows. But one thing's for sure, you just can't flip a switch and expect things to return back to normal. Headlines are suggesting the next upside is in gold. That's why many Americans are making the decision to diversify pot, diversify, diversify uh, into gold. And since 97, Lear Capital has been one of America's top destinations for gold IRA, IRAs 
in precious metal sales. Mention this channel and receive a free silver coin with your first purchase. Call 800-819-2495 now. Or submit a request from the link in the description below. All right, back to the coins of controversy. All right, so here we go. Back to the coins of controversy. Thanks for putting up for that, guys. And thank you to um, Lear Capital for sponsoring another video. Now, I paid $931 for all of these Canadian silver dollars um, at $11.50. And I paid, I believe, another $300 for these. Now, I did what I said never to do. <laughs> I bought a bunch of Cole Morgans. Why is that? Because I got them for $13.75 a pop. At $13.75 a pop, you can usually make more than that on Cole Morgans, um, or I can use them for a bunch of different things. So we got an $18.79. Again, I got this for $13.75 with a hole in the middle. Maybe I'll make international stacker Morgan necklaces and give them out. Got this Cole Morgan here. $18.87 looks like. CC. No, I'm kidding. That's an O. That first one was. So, usually, guys, I do not. And that's an O. My biggest mistake ever was early in my career buying Cole Morgans um, because I really wanted them. And then I ended up getting nice Morgans for cheaper. So, it really bugged me. So, this is a Cole piece dollar. Looks like that's been through a um, uh, lawn, lawn cutter? Lawnmower. Jeez, why are crazy here's a giant whole lot of this piece dollar here's a 1921 morgan got that for 13 dollars and 75 cents that's not bad here's another call 1925 that's not bad i can turn that into international stack these are one of the holes guys would you like to win those in some gauze international stacker amulet of silver protection 1921 man that one looks like it got that looks like it went through a lawnmower 1891, nice little uh, amulet I can make out of that one, maybe. 19 hundo, very cold. So what do you guys think? Was this a good buy for $13.75? I mean, spot price on a Morgan. Maybe I'll add, I don't know. I don't want to stop the, the video. Maybe I'll add that in editing. But I mean, it's got to be around 10 bucks. So... I think it did pretty well with these. 1889. Wow, this one got mangled. But you know, maybe I can hide these and let like the little stackers find them. Here's another amulet of protection I can make. 1889. That one's got a cool coloring to it. Let's see if I lucked out and got some. Like, look, this got thrown in the bunch. 1921. That's pretty dang. That's not bad actual condition. Def it's not. I wouldn't consider that coal. I got that for 13.75. 1921, that is worn. But I mean, I can sell Cole Morgans all day long without the holes for like 16, 17 bucks, 1890. And recently, people were buying Cole Morgans for close to 20. It's another amulet of protection, silver protection I can make. Or silver luck, 1889. 1921, that's definitely cool. And thanks again, guys, 1891, for dealing with, you know, the promotions I've been doing for Lear Capital, they've been really kind. They love your boy, International Stacker. And every time I mention them, it helps me to do very cool things. And I'm trying to work on bigger partnerships in the future so I can bring more silver and gold to you guys and give you more benefits and just take you on a trip around the world. And yes, we are going to Poland soon. I'm just waiting for the EU to say Americans tra can travel again. Look at that. That would be a nice necklace. So what do you think? Was thirteen seventy five? And especially in today's climate, good for those coals. It was eleven fifty. Good for those. For these, I got a total of. Let's count them up: one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just gonna kind of ghetto rig this. This is not usually accurate, but these are actually in pretty good condition, so it is gonna be very accurate. But if you do it with Morgans, like the whole way, you know how you count casino chips. It's usually you're gonna usually miss a few just because of all the wear. I feel like I got 90 or something.
I feel like I'm in a casino right now. Let's make sure. Should be 10. Just kidding. If you've ever been to a casino, you know what that is. So these are stacks of 10. So I got 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81. 81 and then 20 something of these. About 930 bucks, about 300 and something bucks. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy this unboxing? Has the silver fever and less gotten to me? Am I making crazy decisions? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not quite done. More videos coming soon. Catch you on the next one. Woo! Let's know, let's know, let's know. I just found one on the ground. Always check your trash before you throw it away. So 82 total. Woo!